Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know, I am the one and only infamous Kentucky Yankee, without a doubt. Exciting day. Today I'm working on the front deck of my converted stick steer suspension seat John boat. I'm also working on the live well. I did run into a little bit of an issue with it, and so I stopped. I was hoping some of you guys who have already done this and have more experience than me maybe could help me out on what to do with that. Although I did make a lot of progress on it, there's a few bugs that need to be worked out with it. This piece right here will fit underneath my deck. All it is is carpet and foam glued together, that's it. On the back side I cut slits down this foam so that I could roll it around. You know, it'll follow the boat contour on the bottom when I glue it down. So that's glued to the floor, it's all finished up. Time to install the deck. There are three slits I made in the very front of the deck right here, as you can see. I riveted and glued pieces of angle iron for added support and strength. On each side, I riveted these strips of metal and cut slits in them so they would follow the contour of the boat, and that is to support the deck. For this part, I used regular rivets like what was in the boat to start with so it wouldn't leak water and it would have more strength back view of the deck it's not hard to see what I did I don't think you can soak this in you can see how I bent that channel for these tips to fit into the boat and they'll be screwed to it so it's solid and then I can screw it from the back side here too where I bent the channel like that this is all of the components for my front deck I scuffed them up on purpose so that the flooring would adhere better everything you see here is a combined weight of about 15 pounds There's the deck all put together. Now you can kind of see how all the pieces went that I showed you earlier. A top view of the deck, you can see I have two hatches. I wanted to show you all that before I installed this piece right here, the last piece that'll block this front. And what does it weigh? I don't know, like a pound. It's hardly anything. It's very light. I got to move quick, but I wanted to show you I'm still gluing and riveting. Doing both, it'll help on vibration noises and it'll help to have more strength. Trolling motor mount is all made up, bent, fabricated, grinded down, has holes pre-drilled in it. Had to make a tough decision. I decided to go ahead and drill holes into this railing around the boat here to mount my trolling motor mount to because it'll make it so much more rigid. I didn't really want to drill the holes in there but decided probably best thing to do. I am certainly going to glue it up here a little bit. These are in fact Big Daddy Pop Rivets, so it takes a Big Daddy Pop Rivet gun to get this job done. Here's where we are with our deck now. I put this foam on there. It's very difficult to cut, even with a new razor blade. Even with a new sharp razor blade. Scissors work best, but you can't always use them. Let me show you inside of the hatch here. I did do a section of the flooring with closed cell foam, a real thin sheet of aluminum, and then this foam on top of it. I'll show you how I did that on the back part. I just wanted to get this front done, but it's looking good. Trolling motor mount, I just put this foam on here because it was a little uneven, so that should take up that little bit of unevenness. I did decide to use this flooring on the sides of the seat too. On to the live well now. I'm going to mount it right here in back of the seat kind of on the right side of the boat and I'm gonna leave the other side open where you can kind of walk through there. I got this nice hatch so water would not splash out of the top of the live well. My plan is to run the aerator right there out of the side of the boat. I made this picture frame out of PVC boards, like that Trex or whatever it's called, and I'm going to put it on top of this 
live well for added strength and rigidity. It will be glued under here and hatch installed and screwed down. Finished product before installation. There it is. Let me open it up and show you the inside. A lot of room inside for a lot of fish. This should work out well. This piece is simply made out of PEX plumbing and I did drill holes into the bottom of it so it could fill up the live well and aerate it also. I'll just hook it up to this connection right here that I was working on earlier. I bent this piece out of aluminum and spray painted it machine gray. I riveted and glued some brackets onto the boat so I could attach it. Gonna use this trim edge crap for the edges so it doesn't scratch everything up, vibrate, make noise, wear things out, stuff like that. Installation all complete. I got it riveted, glued, everything that need to happen for it to be there for a long time. You can see where I use that black stripping trim stuff and it worked out perfectly. I like it. I'm going to use it in other places too. Here's where I'm at and I need to think about my next move. So I have brackets holding this live well down and I put foam, closed cell foam all the way around it to kind of keep it cool, the water maybe, from changing temperature too much. I need to hook up my hose right here which is nothing. My overflow and this is where my issue comes in. I think the water may be pumped in too fast and not be able to get out fast enough to keep it aerated like it'll fill the tank. So I'm deciding what to do like should I put a bilge pump in there? I do have a nice little bilge pump that would go in there to help pump the water out. I know I need to put a plug on the bottom to drain all the water out completely. But this is kind of where I'm at and this is my issue. I'm afraid this pump may pump too much in and it may not drain out of this pipe fast enough to keep up with the water that's coming in. I did get an aluminum top cut out that will go on top of here and I'm going to paint it that same machine gray. I'll show you what it looks like on there. There's the top screwed on. It fit really nice and it took a long time to get it fitted just right. But I'm happy with it. I wonder if I should paint it green like the boat. The top green instead of that machine gray. You guys take a vote. Leave in the comments green or gray. I can't decide. Or put that foam that I've been using on the top. But I'm thinking green or gray. I can't really decide. This top is screwed on so I can easily remove it and access everything I need to get to inside of here. And there'll be a strip of that black stuff right there too to keep it from rubbing on the boat. So that's it for this one guys. I need to take a little time to figure out my next move. I will show you how I put the floor down on the next video. Using the closed cell foam, aluminum, and the top foam, you know, the flooring part. Thanks for watching guys. I look forward to everyone's suggestions on what I should do with this live well. Hopefully we'll come up with something together. I have a whole series of videos on this boat. Don't forget to check them out. We'll see you next time.